Hi folks, it's Max from High on Android.com where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Today let's talk about Wi-Fi Tether. Uh, in most countries other than the US, you don't have to pay an extra charge uh, for Wi-Fi tethering off your phone, off your existing data plan. Now in the US, AT&T, uh, Verizon and Sprint, they'll charge you twice uh, for the same internet you already pay for, uh, which is ridiculous and uh, they should make it illegal for them to charge you twice uh, for the same internet you already paid for. WHY ARE THEY CHARGING ME TWICE?! <laughs> Damn it! I mean it's ridiculous. They're charging you twice for the same internet. You already pay for one gigabyte of data whether you're using that off your smartphone, uh, tethering to your computer or another Wi-Fi device it shouldn't matter, you should never have to pay twice. For example, let's say you have two gigs of data. Um, now if you want to tether, you'll have to pay extra $20, $30 per month um, just to get uh, Wi-Fi tether working. Now it's ridiculous what they're trying to do, uh, but there are ways around it. If you have a rooted Android device, you can always get free Wi-Fi tether without paying your carriers twice. So if you're tired of paying extra tethering charges and letting carriers screw you every month with extra twenty thirty dollars that you would rather spend at your local strip bar. Let's fight back and let me show you a universal Wi-Fi tether method that works on any rooted Android smartphone and tablets. And let's go do this baby. Hi folks so I've got my T-Mobile Galaxy S2 here. Um, also I thought of this idea of making this video because today I was trying to uh, Wi-Fi tether on my T-Mobile Galaxy S2 and boom, um, it'll show, it'll redirect me to uh, T-Mobile's website where, oh, you gotta buy this tethering package to make it work. Oh uh, well, there are ways to round it. Um, so let me go ahead and show you. Uh, first thing you can do on non-rooted to Android devices, you can download this app called FaxFee. Um, this will work actually on Moto most Motorola uh, devices like the Verizon Galaxy, Nexus, Verizon. Uh, uh, any of the Verizon Droid razors, um, usually it will work. Now if this doesn't work, my next suggestion to use is uh, Wi-Fi Tether app here. Uh, Wi-Fi Tether app for rooted users. Um, this one works for most Android smartphones, so you'll need root for this one. Now there are times where this doesn't work, uh, which is this one, the latest Jelly Bean update on the T-Mobile Galaxy S2. Uh, the regular Wi-Fi Tether method doesn't work. And also, um, it doesn't work on some of the newer Jelly Bean updates because the carriers love trying to block users uh, from using those apps. Uh, but there are another, uh, there's another way you can do it, and let me show you that today. Um, go ahead and go to downloadandroidrom.com. I'll have the the actual link, download link, on my uh, site, so you can check it out in the description, uh, or you can also go here, go to APK at the download Android ROM .com and go to Wi-Fi Tether uh, directory there and go to uh, Trev E right there alright and then go to uh, go download the Wi-Fi Tether v3 underscore 3 dash pre 2 dot apk um, this is a Trev E mod uh, Wi-Fi Tether app it's similar to the Wi-Fi Tether app for rooted, u rooted users uh, with the you just saw on the play market um, but go ahead and download it. Just type the uh, captcha here to download, and this will this will download the file, and it should take uh, just like 10 seconds. There you go. And once it's download downloaded, um, use your favorite file explorer app. I like to use ES File Explorer, and uh, let me go ahead and find the app. Uh, it might be downloaded to ex no. Let's go back here. Um, there we go. There we go. Uh, so it should be there. Wi-Fi tether blah blah dot apk. Go ahead and install it. Um, if you get unknown sources error, just go to settings and check off unknown sources. And then go ahead and open it. All right. And go to um, settings here. And let me show you how to set it up. This is probably the most important part. Um, change device profile to generic ICS JB WLAN 0 all right and also change setup method to NTD NDC master all right and also make sure send NetD max client CMD is on and also you can set your Wi-Fi encryption uh, whatever you like uh, for 
for purpose of this demo, I'll just use eight eights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. And change your SSID to whatever you want. Um, so we'll do whatever you want. But seriously, you can just name it whatever you want. And also um, make sure Wi-Fi driver reload or Wi-Fi re uh, driver reload 2 is on. Um, I recommend the Wi-Fi driver reload 2. But if this doesn't work for some reason, you can try the first one. And keep going down and uh, keep going down and make sure MSS clamping and routing fix is on. Uh, it is usually on by default. And that's about it. And we're going to go ahead and start tethering. And uh, this works on most uh, rooted Android smartphones. Actually, I haven't found any time that it didn't work. Make sure you hit uh, grant for super window, super user request there. And uh, once it starts and you don't get any errors, you should be all good to go. Um, what you can do is go to show lock. And if you don't see any errors, you're all good to go. So let me go ahead and connect it from my Galaxy Note 2 here. And let's go ahead and connect it. Go to settings, uh, Wi Fi, and then go uh, Wi Fi. No, there we go. Where is it? Whatever you want. I got it there. I'm going to put eight eights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. And if you got connected, you should be all good to go. And uh, you'll hear a vibration on your other phone that it connected. And you can actually see uh, which device connected. See, there's Android connected there. So you're all good to go, but just the internet has to work, and uh, just type anything in your browser. And if it works, then you're all good to go. Now the reason why I had to use Trevi Mod on the T-Mobile Galaxy S2 again is that if I use the the mobile hotspot, this one also has been hacked, uh, but uh, it will still redirect me to uh, the T-Mobile uh, Wi-Fi hotspot um, website. So this will work on pretty much any rooted Android device. Um, I've also tested on Verizon when it was all blocked, but this method works just fine. And also should work just fine on Sprint, all the US carriers, and will even work uh, if you know live in another country uh, where your carrier blocks you for not, you know, unless you pay for Wi-Fi tethering, which I think is ridiculous. Anyway, um, this guy should, you know, help you get free Wi-Fi tethering on any rooted Android device. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Hi folks, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, as always, don't forget to hit that like button from here, subscribe button down there, and uh, stay high on Android. And don't forget to share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Knowledge is power.